Hi everyone, my name is David from DevDen Web Dev, and in today's video, we'll be looking at how to add a placeholder text to the required select field in an Elementor form so that the user cannot submit without choosing an option. So when you see press send, it gives you an error. But once the user chooses an option, you no longer sees that please choose your gender placeholder text anymore. And now he can submit the form successfully. This is quite useful if you have a sensitive information that you want the user to fill by himself. For example, in a travel document, you want the user to fill the exact gender that is put in his passport or his travel document. So you want the user to be forced to choose the information by himself or herself. So if this is something that interests you, then stick around and we'll go right into it. So here on the Elementor edit page, I've already gone ahead and created the form and I've added in all the required information, including two select fields. One of them is not information sensitive, but is still required, which is the first one. Then we have the second one, which we want to be information sensitive. So we want the user to be forced to fill in an information. Right now, it is choosing the first element, which is male by default, but we want it to not have any one filled up. We want the user to fill it by himself. So what we have to do is simply create a first option, which has an invalid value. The easiest way to do that is simply come over to our options, and then just create a blank space at the top. And right now we've created an invalid option. If you publish this and go onto the front end, right now you see it's a blank space. And when we fill in all the required information, so test, first name, John, last name, Doe, and we try to submit the form, it gives you that error because we haven't chosen any option. But once we choose an option, so let's say female, and we press send, the form gets sent successfully. Right now, this is all fine and good, but it is quite boring because we just have a blank space in there. What if we want to add in a placeholder text? The easiest way to do that is you come back over, and then rather than having this blank space, you add in your placeholder text, so we'll say please. Then we use the pipe symbol. And the next thing we're supposed to add is our value. But rather than adding any value, we just leave it blank and we publish it. So when you go back to the front end, refresh. And then you try to fill in the form again. It is on the placeholder text. If you try to send, it gives you this error because the placeholder text has a value which is blank. And a blank value is regarded as an invalid value for a select field. So now when we now choose another option, so let's say mail and try to send now, the form sent successfully. So that is one way to overcome having a blank space. But the only trouble with this is that this please select your gender, it can still be selected. So if you say male, you can still go back and choose that option. What if we want to now improve this form so that once the user tries to fill in an option, then that please select your gender disappears because it's supposed to be a placeholder. Right now, if someone is using a screen reader as well, it will be announcing that please fill in your gender every time. It opens this option, but we want it that once you've selected an option, then this should disappear. It is quite easy to do it. I will leave a link to the code in the description below. We just have to add in some code, which will add in two attributes, which are the disabled attribute and the hidden attribute. And that's about it. It's all done. So the code will be in the description. All you have to do is activate the code using any way you feel comfortable. You can use the CodeCPS plugin like I'm using here, or you can 
add it directly to your page using an HTML widget, or you can add it to your child theme in the functions of PHP file. So now let me just activate it and then we'll go back and then the only thing we have to do now is on the form, we just have to go to the advanced tab and give it a class name of DDLE form. Then make sure that it is required and that the value is disabled. So we have this value with the disabled pipe symbol. Then when you go back to the front end and now refresh it, see that this time you see it is showing that but once you click on it, you can't pick that first option again, which says, please fill in your gender. It disappears. All you have to is the male and the female. And when you choose one and you fill in your required information and you try to submit it, it sends successfully. And yeah, that's it. You've gotten your form, which is now having a placeholder text, which will only show up once the user has not chosen an option, but the moment the user chooses an option, then that placeholder text disappears because it's no longer necessary. And your form is accessible to screen reader users as well because we're using the right attributes and everything will work just fine. So if this video has helped you, please do leave a like, share. If you have a better option, please leave it in the comment section below so that we can all learn from each other. And until next time, keep designing and keep creating.